New tonight, layoffs are coming to Newport News Shipbuilding. Today, Tonight Your Side learned more than 1,500 people will lose their jobs in the next year and a half. Newport News Shipbuilding is the largest industrial employer in Virginia with more than 23,000 workers. And the president of the biggest shipbuilding company in the country sent letters to employees this week explaining those cuts. Then your size, Liz Palka is live in Newport News tonight. And what have you learned about those job losses? But Tom, the first cuts are going to happen this fall, and then the majority of the cuts will happen in 2016. They'll affect both hourly and salaried employees here at Newport News Shipbuilding, and from the people we've spoken to, these cuts are fairly unexpected. I'm just um, really sorry that it has to happen this way. 44 years. That's how long United Steelworkers President Arnold Outlaw has worked for Newport News Shipbuilding. He believes this is the largest number of layoffs he's seen. I don't think we've had one this size before. Um, and I don't recall ever having one in stages. Newport News Shipbuilding President Matt Mulherin made the announcement on Monday. More than 500 jobs will be cut this fall and more than 1,000 will be cut in 2016. That's a lot of workers. And about 6.5% of the shipyard's workers. Outlaw represents the 11,000 plus hourly employees. He says some have been questioning how the cuts will be made. I've been told by the company itself that they are going to follow the contract, which means they're going to go by seniority. And when there's a, a controversy over seniority, they'll go to the skills and abilities of the workers. That's how some cuts are expected to happen, but then there's the why. Mulherin said in this letter to shipyard employees that Newport News Shipbuilding will see the workload decrease over the next two years, especially as work on three aircraft carriers comes to an end. Workers we spoke to said they're trying not to let the thought of the cuts affect them. I mean, it's a concern there, but you know, not to the point where. We can't function on the job. Desmond Key pointed out they still have work to do now. And Mulherin says work is expected to increase again in 2017. I just, you know, keep coming to work, get here on time, stay out of trouble, and uh, just hope that, you know, my number isn't called. The Shipyard's Apprentice School will see reductions. However, Mulherin said that will be an important program to continue with as work increases in 2017. Outlaw also mentioned he would like to see some of the hourly workers who see their jobs cut return to the shipyard in about two years. Live in Newport News, I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. And the coming layoffs at the shipyard remind us how much this area depends on defense. Consider a recent study by ODU, which says Pentagon cuts means slower economic growth this year and beyond. However, if you look at lower gasoline prices, more imports and exports, and more tourism dollars, that means Hampton Roads will still see some growth in the near future. Well, it's not all bad news for workers at the shipyard. Newport News Shipbuilding just got a huge contract to work on the Navy submarines. That work includes engineering, design, modernization, and industrial support. The project started yesterday and is expected to continue for the next four years. 